Hello, and welcome to Vlogcast 3.6, Derivation of Inverse Trigonometric Functions. We're going to work on how to derive the derivative of the three inverse trig functions, arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. We will first review the derivatives of the trig functions. The derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x, the derivative of cosine x is equal to negative sine x, and likewise tangent x will become secant squared x. And we will be reviewing the inverse trig functions and their definitions. Take a look at it. Now let's put this aside and focus on the function arc sine of x. If y equals arc sine of x, then x is equal to sine y, as shown in the presentation. So we can just differentiate x equals sine y, if it shows up, and implicitly differentiate to get dy dx, which is what we are trying to get. Now, Tommy will tell us the step-by-step -step tutorial for the derivation of y equals arc sine of x. So starting off with arc sine of x, this expression really means y equals arc sine of x. So we're going to start off by turning this into a form that we already know how to derive, which in this case means that we will switch the x and y values and undo the, in, the inverse function, turn it into a standard trigonometric function. Now we have x equals sine y. Then we'll take, we'll implicitly derive. So we'll take the der derivative of both sides in terms of dx. So dx over dx equals d over dx of sine y. D now dx over dx cancels because they're the same thing. So then we are left with d over dx of sine of y equals 1. I switched the size of the equation so that it's easier to see. Now we'll actually derive sine of y. And we know that the derivative of a sine is cosine. So then that gives us cosine of y. Remember, we are taking, this is very important, that since we're taking the derivative of, a, of y in terms of x, we're going to have to use the chain rule and say dy of dx equals 1. Now we'll divide both sides by cosine y to isolate dy of dx, which is what we're solving for. And then we're left with dy over dx equals 1 over the cosine of y. Now we're going to want to substitute cosine of y. So if you look at this right triangle, this original function over here, y equals arc sine of x. This actually means angle y oops, has the trigonometric ratio of the opposite x and the hypotenuse 1. And as for the third side, we can solve using the Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, a squared equals 1 squared minus x squared. And that would take the square root of both sides to, and be left with a equals the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now we know that cosine of y is the cosine ratio of this angle y over here, this angle y. So what we can do is substitute that for y over 1, or I'm sorry, a over 1, which is just a. So therefore, dy over dx equals 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. Thank you, Tommy. Now that you have seen how to find the derivative of arc sine of x, finding the other derivatives will be fairly easy as they are derived similarly. Now take a second to derive the functions by using these equations and we will switch back to Toby when you are ready. Moving on now to the arc cosine of x. That's also going to be solved with being equal to y. And we'll go through the same procedure. Start by inverting it, x equals cosine of y, taking the derivative of both sides implicitly, dx over dx equals d over dx of cosine y. There we go. And then that simplifies, that becomes d over dx cosine y equals 1. 
the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so then negative sine of y, don't forget the important chain rule, dy over dx equals 1. Then we'll divide by negative sine y, leaving us with dy over dx equals 1 divided by, I'm sorry, negative 1 divided by the sine of y. Then we're going to use the same concept using the right triangle. That is y, that is a right angle. And this time it's a cosine, so angle y to find has the ratio x over 1, x being the adjacent, and y being the hypotenuse. And then making this time the opposite being a, we know that a squared equals 1 squared minus x squared. And therefore, take the square root, and a equals the square root of 1 minus x squared. Uh, sine of y is opposite over hypotenuse, which is just a. <clears throat> so we can substitute that for a, and that gives us dy divided by dx equals negative 1 over the square root 1 minus x squared. Last one, arctangent of x. So this one is solved using, again, the same method. So this time I want you guys to try to figure this out. Try to find the derivative of arctangent of x. Uh, just pause the video, and when you're done, resume the video. Okay, so hopefully you got it. This one's a little bit more tricky. So now I'll walk through it, see if you uh, actually got the right answer. So same deal again from the beginning. I'm going to switch the x and y. x equals tangent of y. Take the derivative of both sides, dx over dx, equals d over dx tangent of y. Then simplify, d over dx tangent y equals 1. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So the derivative becomes secant squared of y. And of course, don't forget chain rule, dy from dx. That equals 1. And I'm going to divide both sides by secant squared y, leaving us with dy over dx equals 1 divided by secant squared y. Uh, put some parentheses on that. So just real quick, secant, uh, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So that means secant is hypotenuse divided by adjacent. So noting that, we're going to have another right triangle, poorly drawn as always. Make that angle y, and it's tangent x over 1. So then we know that x is the opposite, and the adjacent is 1, making the hypotenuse a. So then, therefore, a squared equals uh, I'm sorry, is equal to x, x squared plus 1 squared, or abbreviated, that's x squared plus 1. And since uh, the secant is already squared in the denominator, we can just substitute a squared for secant squared, and therefore we are left with dy of dx equals 1 over x squared Plus one. And there you go. Thank you, Tommy. Here are some problems to consider deriving. Take a stab at them, and I shall explain them shortly. So f of x is equal to arc sine of x squared. This equation is fairly easy, as you just have to use a derivative of arc sine, which is this, and use a little bit of the old chain rule to figure out the derivative. So, for the chain rule, use the garbage rule. For this, I would set x squared as the garbage, and take derivative of arc sine garbage, which will equal this. Then, we shall take the derivative of the garbage, which is x squared, so it is 2x. Multiply this into the previous equation, and voila! This is the derivative of arc sine of x squared. So here we set arc sine of x as garbage and take the derivative of sine garbage. That would be cosine of garbage. 
Then we shall take the derivative of garbage or arc sine of x and then multiply it to the previous derivative. The derivative of arc sine of x is shown here, so we can just add that to this equation, and there we go. The derivative of sine of arc sine of x. Now we know the derivatives of the inverse trig functions arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, as shown in this part of the video, as well as how to derive them. Thank you for watching our video and have a nice day.